Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you in easy steps how to make these autumn leaves fringe seed beads earrings. Consider subscribing, liking, sharing and commenting in this way you give me signals to continue with my work. You might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Thank you so much for watching, share the beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials on my Facebook page that you will find in description and now let's start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using for this video are four colors of 11 ounce seed beads, yellow, orange, red and green. I'm also using earring findings and this is Nymon Island thread that is 0.3 millimeters or size D. This is size 11 beading needle, you could use similar sizes like 10 and 12, the smaller sizes the easier it is. And here I'm also using scissors and these are flat nose pliers that are not obligatory but I use them if I need to go through the difficult beads. Okay and now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm starting my work with two red and two orange beads on my needle. And I'm sliding those down. I'm leaving here a small tail at the end because later I will put my needle on it and finish my work with it. Then uh, what I do is that I go backwards through these two red beads and I'm holding my tail thread okay so what I have is this they are next to each other and the holes are pointing in this direction in my next step I'm going through these two orange beads I take two yellow beads and I go backwards through these two orange beads like this I have another column of two beads next to the others I'm going backwards through it you see again holes pointing in this direction and the beads sit next to each other side to side another two yellow beads go backwards through these two And again here, two dark green beads, go backwards, and again like this, two yellow beads, And now two yellow, two orange and two red and I'm doing this one but the other way around. Okay, here it is what I have. Now I will continue guys with a regular brick stitch. If you're not familiar with it, don't worry. I'm taking a red and an orange and you see these thread bridges here that I have between my beads when I turn it in this direction. Here is the first one between the red and the orange and here is the second one between the orange and the yellow. And I want to go under the second one with my needle. And then I pull and after that I go through the bead which is closer to the center of my work which is the orange bead okay now I have this then I'm going to make a reinforcement here going through the red one and then 
backwards through the orange one. I'm making this reinforcement because the other, otherwise my beads stretch and they don't look nice because they go through the second thread bridge. And why they go through the second thread bridge? Because uh, in the next row I have less beads than in the previous one. So I'm decreasing here and I will be decreasing all the time until the end. So I will be going through the second thread bridge all the time. Okay, and now I want to add yellow bead and I go under the next thread bridge with my needle, go like this. And then again through this yellow, backwards. And I pull. Then I'm going to add three more yellows the same way at each next thread bridge. And then I will finish with an orange and a red. Okay, and I have this row ready. Next row I'm starting the same way I did before with a red and an orange. I go under the second thread bridge that I have here between the orange and the yellow. Then I go through the orange and again I reinforce like I did before and each row I will start with a red and an orange and I'm gonna be doing absolutely the same thing a yellow next thread bridge dark green and yellow And then orange and red. Red and orange. Second thread bridge. The same steps after that. And after that, yellow, yellow, orange, red. Okay, then the familiar step of red and orange.
and after that green, orange, red. And again the same step, again second thread bridge. Orange and thread. And uh, this step, guys, I'm taking again two beads, but this time red and green. And I'm going again under the second thread bridge here. I have only three thread bridges, but I'm going through the second one counting from here, which in fact is the middle one in this case. And I repeat the same thing of going through the bead that is closer to the center of my work. And then reinforcing. And I finish here with red at the last thread bridge. In the next row I take two green beads and here I have only two thread bridges but again I go through the second one counting from here where I'm exiting out of. Not that I have any other places that I could go. Okay then I go through this one through the Take two more green beads, go here like this and backwards like in herringbone stitch. If you're not familiar that's it, it's really simple. Okay and now I want to take an earring finding, this one is in copper color and I'm going backwards through those two beads while attaching it okay and I want to make a reinforcement Okay, and now I want to go through all of those beads in this direction. And I'm exiting here at the end. where I'm in a position to start my fringes but before I start them I want to put a needle at this end and finish my work. Okay guys and now I have a needle here at the shorter end. You see here is the longer end that we will continue to make fringes with and this is the beginning the first uh, the tail thread I mean. So what I do is that I want to go through some beads in this direction and I will zigzag through my beads and make a knot. Okay, here I have a 
a small gap that I don't like between this uh, red bead and the green one that is why I'm going like this in, the, in this direction and I might do an additional reinforcement of my earring finding here and after that as I am here at the edge I will make a loop and go once or twice through the loop I've made and I'm going to pull and after that I will go through some beads in this direction and I'm going to cut this tail thread okay and from here on guys I'm going to start making my fringes and I will start by picking up five red beads and one green bead then I'm going to take four red beads and one green bead and I'm going to repeat these four reds one green three more times So let's resume what we have here at the first fringe. We have five reds, one green, and then four times four reds, one green. Okay, this is the first fringe. And what we do next, we skip the last green bead, don't go through it, but go through the beads after that. And pull. Okay, if you have a gap like this, just pull this last green bead and then pull again in this direction and in this way you will remove the gap and I want to go through all of those beads here and through the through the first two I'm going through the first two because in this way the chance of having a gap between the brick stitch top part and the fringes is smaller okay uh, one thing is that you could pre-stretch your thread if you're using this nymo thread or nylon thread which is the best for fringe earrings uh, first you pre-stretch it then go two beads up uh, at your work and two beads down in this way you most probably won't have a gap if you don't work loosely tighten up everything okay now guys I will pick up the next long sequence for my next fringe and I'll be back to tell you what it is okay guys and my next sequence is four orange and one green and this repeats five times and after that I have four red and one green you see it written on your screens take it and uh, continue with our work which is the same thing like I did before skip the green one here at the end and go backwards through all of those beads And then through these two orange inside the brick stitch part, the top triangular part, I mean. And then I pull, pull tight, and I go back here. Then I'll pick up the next long sequence and I'll be back to tell you what it is okay guys and this is my next fringe I have here the following sequence three yellow one green and then four times four yellow one green and then four orange one green once and four red one green 
also once and then i'll go back i skip this one i'll go back through all of those beads go through two in these directions go back through two in these directions and when i'm up to here i'll be back now guys i went back through all of those beads and i'm exiting here at this yellow bead which is next to the green one and i will pick up the next long sequence and i'll be back okay guys and this is the next long sequence that i have here and it consists of two yellows one green then four yellows one green five times after that or four orange one green and four red one green okay i will skip this one go back and exit out of the green beads here and i'll be back okay guys and now here i have another fringe with which consists of 37 green beads and i will go back and exit out of the next yellow two beads and i'll be back okay guys and as i went back through all of those beads and i'm exiting out of these two green beads here you see where my thread is now i saw that i don't have enough thread for another fringe that is why i'm going to cut this thread and add another one if you want to do this work with one thread it should be an arm span and a half and now i took an arm span that is why here i'm going to make a knot and cut my thread and how i do this i make here a loop I go twice through the loop I've made and I pull and then I will go through some beads in this direction. Oops, these fringes are in my loop so I will remove them and then I pull and now I'm going to cut my thread and I will take about half an arm span of new thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys and now I have a new half an arm span of thread on my needle and what I'm going to do next is go through some beads in this direction with my new thread. I pull and here this tail thread I hold it with my thumb. Now I'm going to do similar thing as before. I make here a loop. I go once or twice through this loop I've made. And I pull. After that I will go here in these two yellow beads like this. And I'm going to cut this tail thread here. Now I'm in a position to continue with my work. And what I'm going to be doing next, guys, I won't be showing it in details because we already did this. Okay, I will repeat these four fringes here but I will start from this one. So it's uh, like I'm going to mirror them. I start from this one, add it here. This one, add it here. This one, add it here. And this one, add it here. Okay, I'll do this off camera and I'll be back. Okay guys, and as I mirror these fringes from this side, this is what I have. Now what I want to do is to make a knot and cut my thread and how I do this the familiar way. Make a loop, go twice through the loop I've made, pull, go through some beads in this direction and after that cut this tail thread. Okay guys and now my autumn leaves fringe seed beads earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe with the bell in this way you will be notified for the new similar absolutely free content that i do you could also like share and comment and this is a great and amazing support and i can't thank you enough guys for these actions also check description for a full list of materials and a facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials I will be so happy to see them.
and you might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Thank you so much for staying here with me until the end. Now click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching.